third in a moment. Came ranked ninth in the UPI poll and 11th in the AP. The record eight and two on the season, losses to Miami and to Alabama, but with victories over Nebraska and Notre Dame. Pitt is ranked number one in the nation in both polls, although it must be said, with a schedule not as strong as Penn State's. Nevertheless, the Panthers are still one of two teams in the nation with a perfect record, and they hope to keep it that way today. Be sure to stay tuned now for NCAA college football. The number nine ranked Penn State Nittany Lions against the number one ranked Pitt Panthers after a word from our local state. Down the middle, it is caught. Touchdown. Dwight Collins, who has just got in the ball game, caught a rifle shot on the goal line. And it is a quick six points. And about seven yards to go for the Panthers. Inside the 10 of Penn State, they lead 7-0. Marino looks, quick throw. He's got it for a touchdown. Had to wait for the official to signal that Dwight Collins had caught it inbounds. He was very close to the end line, but he made the grab fairly inbounds. What a play and what a pass. The Panthers have left no doubt in anybody's mind, at least at this stage of the game, that they are indeed the number one college football team in America. I don't think at this point anyone could argue with that, Bill. They simply have been a confident, powerful, inventive team, and they're led by Marino and these two touchdown passes to Collins. I don't know how you're going to stop. No flurries have stopped, but it's still raw and windy. Second down and eight. Beginning of the second quarter, the Panthers in front. Marino on a straight drop back. Look at that protection. Throws a long one deep into the end zone. It is caught out of the field of play. No, he caught it inbounds. A great interception. Roger Jackson made an over-the-shoulder catch that was almost impossible. It was a leaping catch uh, that right at the end zone line. I think Marino intended to throw that ball away, and he didn't throw it quite. You mean reception, coach, not interception. Did I say interception? Bert Warner is in, so is Williams, so is Meade. This is an exciting football game. They take it and drive it right back 80 yards, and they're back in this football game again with a great reach. Trying to spread that defense. The backs go split. Tom Barr and Warner. Blackledge, a little jab step backwards, goes to the one-yard line. Did he go in? He's in. Touchdown. Todd Blackledge, who scored the winning touchdown last week against Notre Dame with that little quarterback sneak. Had to go a farther distance this week, but he put it in. A clever little quarterback draw. He just took a couple steps back like he's going to pass the ball. You can see here that there was a trap play. They trapped Pazuli, and he goes into the end zone for the touchdown by Blackwood. And Franco could tie this ball game up. He's 32 out of 33. And we have a brand new ball game at 14 all. Two minutes and 42 seconds to go in the first half. And there is the back in there. First and 10 on the 42-yard line. The Nittany Lions have scored 14 points after being down by 14. Kenny Jackson in motion. Here's Blackledge from midfield down the sidelines. Jackson's there, has the ball, does a pirouette, goes around his man, goes in to score. What a move by Kenny Jackson. And the Nittany Lions take the lead. Kenny Jackson on this play. The ball is laid in there perfectly. He catches the ball. He steps almost out of bounds, but not quite. He does a complete circle, runs back into the end zone, and it's so long, it's been good to know. Here's Brian Franco putting it up. And Penn State has scored its 21st point unanswered. 
34 seconds to go in the third quarter. First down on the 45. Here's Blackley. Time to throw. Sideliner. He's got Jackson wide open. Touchdown. There was nobody near him. Unbelievable defensive mistake. There wasn't anybody within 10 yards of Kenny Jackson. Well, Bill, uh, Bill they really had that shallow receiver covered because they had two of them on him. <laughs> Obviously, it was a breakdown in pass coverage. Uh, someone was supposed to be on the deep man. Both of them came up on the short man. And Kenny Jackson is into the end zone, standing up again for another touchdown. And it's getting to be a habit with Kenny Jackson. He likes it down in that zone. That 45 yards on this one. And he never had an easier one. The last one was tough. He had to fight the sidelines and really make some moves. This one he just waltzed in. Franco's kick is up. It's good. And it is now 28 to 14 as the Lions now have absolutely shocked the nation's number one football team from Pitt. 9 07 to go in the third quarter, so there's still plenty of time. Here is Brian Franco, who is. Outstanding coaches of all times, in my opinion. Oh, is he happy? Oh, Let's is go. he? Let's go. Move the clock, he says. Come on, guys. Warner makes the cut. Fumbles the ball. It's loose. It's in the end zone, and it's covered by Penn State. Touchdown. It looked like Sean Farrell, number 62, may have gotten that ball. The All-American strong side guard from West Hampton Beach, New York. That's who have got it. Sean Farrell, who has the 19 and a half inch neck and the 20 inch biceps. That's Conks leading the play out there. And good interference. The ball was fumbled. And wh who was it came up with it? Farrell. Franco's kick is squarely through. And so the Penn State Nittany Lions have 41 astounding points on the scoreboard. And Nitt has 14. You don't get too many chances to knock off the nation's top football team late in the season like this. Marino has the pass intercepted. Stepping right in front is Mark Robinson. And he's still loose. He might go. Marino's the only man, and they can't get to him. Mark Robinson goes all the way for the score. 81 yards, and he is absolutely being mobbed. Yes, that's right, 47, in case you just walked into your living room. Well, I am stunned. After the first quarter, it looked like it was going to be a blowout Pittsburgh. But Penn State had another idea. What? Mark Robinson played the ball beautifully. He broke on the throw, moves right in front of Collins, intercepts the ball, and then shows that he can run with the football after that. An excellent run. He waited for his blockers to get out the last man, well, which happened to be... Starts across the field to find Joe Paterno. I don't know how he will in that sea of people, but the clock ticks off before another play can be held, and everybody swarms out onto the field, particularly from the Penn State side. They just have a cascade of human beings out there, and I'm sure that Jackie Sherrill can't find Joe Paterno anywhere. But Joe's there congratulating uh, Sal Sonseri on a great effort, but I'm sure this has to be a very warm glow in the heart of Joe Paterno in this tremendous victory today, dethroning the nation's top team by the score of 48 to 14. Back for a final word in a minute. Steve Zabriski at Pitt Stadium, where once again the final score of today's game, 48 to 14, Penn State the winner over the top-ranked Panthers of Pittsburgh. Stay